Three questions you must ask your partner before you go into any serious and committed relationship like marriage. Number one, what happens if we don't feel this way anymore? You know how in the beginning of every relationship is all, you know, butterflies and my stomach, you know, you feel so good, you're happy together, you go everywhere together, the excitement is there, the chemistry is there, full bars. It's not always like that. At some point in that relationship, it's going to seem like it's boring. That is when this question comes into play. What are you going to do about it? You need to have an agreement. Are we going to put in the work to make sure that we maintain this chemistry, to, do, to make sure that we maintain this love? Because also in the beginning of every relationship, most times the quarrels are less, the frictions are less. But when you get married and then you start having children, a lot of things will seem like a distraction. Maybe you don't get that attention as much as you do anymore and it becomes a problem. So frictions will come. So the question is, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to consciously put in the effort to maintain this relationship? That's one. Number two question you need to ask your partner is, what is a deal breaker for you? What can make you fall out of love with me? Like, what is that one thing that I would do and you would not forgive me and that would be it? This is a very important question. You need to know this thing so that you know what to avoid. Why? Because you value this person and you intend to be with this person for the long term. So why not know these things? So if you know these things, you'll be able to avoid them. Everybody has a limit. Once they stretch us, you get to one point, you'll be like, ah, this is my limit. This is it. I can't take this. This is the end. You need to know that thing. What is that thing that would make you fall out of love with me? What is that thing that I would do and it will make you cease loving me? And that brings me to the third question. What is your love language? You need to know this one. This one is very, very important. Because if you know your partner's love language, then you'll be able to love them better. People have different love languages. For some people, it's touch. For some people, it's gift. For some people, it's just talk to me in my ears, sing to me, you know. A whole lot of people have different things that are love languages to them. So if you are able to know what your partner's love language is, then you'll be able to love them better and make them happy. Not because it's your duty to make them happy, but because you're a kind person and you like to make them happy. Because at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is nobody can make you happy except yourself. But then in relationships, sometimes you compromise and shift grounds just because we want to accommodate the other person fully. So when you ask these questions and you understand this person's love language, honestly, trust me, it's going to help your relationship because now you know what to do. So when you understand your partner's love language, it's like knowing their momo button, so to speak. So you know what button to press. Okay, when I tell you that, okay, I love this, I like this, I like that, and now I've given you a combination. So anytime you want to activate me in that way, you just press those buttons, you know, those my momo buttons, press them, and you activate me immediately. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So these are the three things you need to ask your partner before you go into that committed and serious relationship such as marriage. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.